hey what's up guys this is shukesh once again and well today i'm gonna unbox this all new redmi 3s prime and uh, there are basically two new entry level devices from xiaomi redmi 3s and 3s prime this 3s prime is priced at 899 rupees on flipkart and the 3s variant will cost you 699 rupees which seems more value for money though you have slightly less ram and less storage this device is made in india and uh, there are three color variants gold dark gray and silver i have the gray one with me well let's get started with this unboxing and there i have my trusted knife well there you go the all new redmi 3s prime and it's quite a compact device with solid metal build it's very very small it's been a while i have reviewed such a small device nowadays you hardly find a smartphone with less than 5.5 inches screen size i think this screen size is perfect for 100 users there you get the sar information which is under control and it's actually quite low i also have the redmi note 3 and as you can see the back look is almost identical except for the camera before I give you a tour of the exterior design, let me check the accessories inside the box. First of all, you get your booklets and the SIM ejector pin might be inside this envelope. There you get the startup guide and the pin. The power adapter is extremely small and the USB port is at the back. This charging brick is rated 5V 2A that is it's a 10W charger, not bad. There you get the data cable which is basically a micro USB cable and it's around 1 meter in length. There is nothing else inside the box, no headset or earphones, no scratch guard or case as well. Let's get rid of this mess here and show you the device itself. Well, the look and build of this Redmi 3S Prime is as good as its bigger brother Redmi Note 3 and only the screen size is smaller 5 inches and the CPU is also slightly inferior. This design is extremely ergonomic with rounded corners though the back is slightly slippery and as I mentioned before except for the camera there is basically no difference at all on the exterior design though the navigation keys are actually not hidden on the redmi 3s prime and if you are looking for a compact device with better 100 uses and if your budget is below 10,000 rupees you can definitely get this 3s prime though i feel that for just thousand rupees extra i can get the best model of redmi note 3 which is much superior to the redmi 3s prime with better display better camera and superior cpu and gpu I mean the 2 gig of ram is not a big issue i think there you have the galaxy j5 2016 which is retailing at 12,000 rupees right now for the price the redmi 3s prime is definitely a better choice though the camera on the j5 is quite good and you have a super amoled display i will upload a comparison in between the base model of redmi note 3 and this 3s prime now let's power on the device and give you a quick tour of the exterior ports and design. As usual this Xiaomi device comes with preloaded themes and these are the themes you are getting out of the box. The device is ultimately ready and there you get the MIUI 7. 720p resolution on a 5 inch screen is not bad at all considering the price the ppi is 294 and uh, honestly speaking i can barely notice the pixels the icons are quite smooth and small text are not pixelated at all this is an ips panel and the viewing angles are not bad but not that great as well a full hd screen would have been really nice though i really don't have that much complaint for this hd screen 5 inch screen is just perfect for 100 uses. This smartphone will be more suitable for women, I think. Now, let me give you a quick tour of the exterior design. First of all, you get a fingerprint sensor, and from my past experience, I can tell you this is a very responsive and fast sensor, works from any angle you try. 
there you get the primary camera which is basically a 13 megapixel shooter with full HD recording the maximum aperture is f 2.0 and this camera also incorporates phase detection autofocusing which is the fastest way to autofocus there is also a single LED flash as you can see this camera is not protruding as well at the bottom you get the loudspeaker grill if you put this phone on a bed or sofa then your ringtone might get suppressed at the top you get your 3.5 mm headphone jack and also the ir blaster for using this phone as a tv or air conditioner remote and this hole is basically your secondary microphone for noise cancellation at the bottom you get your micro usb port which is otg enabled that is you can attach your pen drive hard drive your mouse keyboards etc this is the primary microphone on the left side of the phone you get your volume rocker and the power key on the right side there is nothing but the sim card as well as the micro sd card slot as you can see there is a micro as well as a nano sim card slot here though unfortunately there is no separate sd card slot so you have to basically use the nano sim card tray for the memory card at the front just below the display you get your navigation keys the back home and the app switcher there might be an led notification light here the front camera is a 5 megapixel shooter with full hd recording and f 2.2 maximum aperture i will share some camera samples on my facebook page there you get the ear speaker grill and the sensors now the new redmi 3s prime comes with miui 7.5 and on this variant you are getting 3 gig of ram and 32 gig of storage out of the box you have great 2.1 gig free for the user which is more than enough for hardcore gaming you are never going to run out of memory on this device on the redmi 3s you have 2 gig of ram and 16 gig of storage considering the price difference i think you can get the 3s i mean you do have an sd card slot which is expandable up to 128 gig and out of 2 gig you will get around 1.1 gig free for the user which is not that bad actually if you are tight on budget you can definitely get the redmi 3s at 7000 rupees and save around 30 percent the free storage you are getting out of 32 gig is 24.44 gig which is again quite decent for an entry level device now the miui is a very interesting interface with lots of hidden features though it's highly customized there is no noticeable lag and on the notification toggles you will find this mi drop which is somewhat like share it that is you can share files using wi-fi direct and as you know it's much faster than bluetooth you have this software embedded into your smartphone so it's quite handy i have already discussed about the theme support which is one of the best features of miui you can download numerous themes from the theme store and most of these are free no need to rely on third-party launchers and these are the themes i have currently on the device let's apply this one there you go the icons background color theme everything changed including your app interface now let me show you some cool features of this miui first of all you are getting this call recording option and what's most interesting is this record calls automatically that is you can record the incoming calls from your favorite contacts automatically and uh, let me show you a few more nice options under incoming call setting you get these nice options like flip the phone to silent ringtone and also when you pick up the device you can enable flash notifications when ringing and also mute the first ring for calls from unknown numbers let's hit the settings menu and under display settings you'll find this reading mode which you can manually control and this mode will help you get better sleep as well there is also a child mode that is you can allow certain applications for your kids and lock the device with a password if you are lending this device to your friends for the camera this will also help now though this 5 inches screen size is small enough for 100 uses if you want you can actually enable this 100 input option that is you can shrink the display to your right or left just swipe from home to back or home to app switcher you can even control the notification light color for your incoming calls and messages the led is just below the home key 
as you can see. Well, in this unboxing video, it's not possible for me to show you all these great features. So stay tuned for the full review and don't forget to subscribe. As you can see, there are some tools preloaded including this MI remote for your TV, air conditioner, sound system, etc. There are some bloatware preloaded as well, but fortunately you can uninstall this. Now I've run some benchmarks and also installed these games. If this device can handle these two games smoothly, then you can play almost all the hardcore games available on the Play Store. The 3 Mark Gamers benchmark score is not exciting, it's quite mediocre, but considering the price, this is quite reasonable. Again, if you can spend just 1000 rupees more and get the Redmi Note 3, then the gaming performance will be much much better. Now let's try this Nova 3. You can also now check the speaker quality and though it's crystal clear, the volume is not exciting, not groundbreaking, but okay for a smartphone. The display is looking quite crisp and no pixelation at all. So far there is no lag but this is just the intro. You might already know this device sports octa-core Cortex A53 1.4 GHz processor with Snapdragon 430 chipset. The GPU is Adreno 505. Of course, for the price, these specs are quite exciting. In addition to that, the battery is crazy 4100 lithium ion polymer and this should provide you at least 3 full days backup on normal to heavy users. On the full review, I will talk more about the battery and also overheating if there is any. Now let's concentrate on the gaming and so far there is no lag, everything is super smooth and I'm somewhat surprised actually. There is not a single lag or hiccup I am facing. Actually the thing is the resolution of this phone is 720p and the GPU has to push this lower resolution so you are getting this great gaming experience. So guys if you are into gaming don't worry you won't be disappointed. Well the last thing I want to check is the camera and as you know you get a 13 megapixel shooter at the back. There is face detection autofocus which is indeed very fast but not as fast as the Moto G series devices. As you can see touch to focus is working quite fast. I have actually tried this camera for a while and I will show you the samples later. There you get different camera modes including this beauty face which will actually airbrush your faces and there is also a manual mode for photography enthusiasts. There you get the filters. Now I am somewhat disappointed with the camera quality. I mean for a 13 megapixel shooter the images are not that much detailed and the color recording is not punchy. Though the focusing is quite accurate and sharp, there is much less bokeh. But for Redmi 3S which is priced at 7000 rupees, I should not actually expect better image quality than this. Well, I've only tried this camera indoor, under good lighting condition, the images will look much much better. Well friends, we are at the end of this review and I've tried my best to cover as many features as I can. On the full review, I will talk about the actual performance, the pros and cons of this Redmi 3S Prime and show you some more camera samples. So make sure you are subscribed and if you have really found this video very helpful, you can also consider sharing this video with your friends. This is Shukesh and have a nice day guys.